Today is the 11th of June 2024 and we'd like to talk about surface area of sphere. We've looked at um, the volume of a sphere, okay, uh, in, and then the radius of the sphere when you are giving um, the volume okay how do you find the radius of a sphere when you are giving the volume so they want to look at the surface area of the sphere so assuming uh, you've been given uh, the surface area how are you going to use that to find the radius of the sphere okay that's what i want to deal with uh, today so Thank you so much to all my subscribers, okay? Um, please invite others to subscribe, share, like, and follow. If the account is not yours, ask permission from the account holder. It's very important. Or open your own account, okay? In the comment section, you normally see... Uh, please follow my notes last script. It's very important. Follow the notes, okay, um, that I'm showing you, okay. In that way, you'll be able to see my thinking pattern and hopefully, and also, it helps your photographic memory. So, assuming you saw it somewhere, it's like I've seen this before. Okay, it's like if you've driven to gone to an area before and then you've not been there for a while, immediately you, you, you get there, it's like I've been here before, okay? Beware of scammers, okay? That's what I'm just going to say today, just beware. Don't, if somebody soliciting for funds, under this platform it's not coming from me now recap i've just recap for you if you are giving the volume of a sphere okay that is the volume of a sphere um formula at this level you don't have to deduce it you just have to know it so update your flashcard so if you are giving the volume of a sphere you need this formula and you are asked to find the radius then you need this formula to find the radius which uh, we did yesterday okay assuming you have not been given the volume and then you've been given the surface area okay the surface area also has a radius in it so Assuming you've been given the surface area, then you need to use the surface area of a sphere, the formula, and that's what we are going to do today. Now, in our starter, we've been discussing uh, the circle theorem one by one so that we can learn the names, okay, assuming they ask us to give the exact name. But if they ask you, to give you a reason you can use your own words okay that's what i've been telling you we found a question that said uh, that was the eighth theorem that said what theory what is the name so i i said well i have to go back and use the starter to bring it one by one so that we can look at it and discuss so that's me the access for the actual name okay some of them you can still use your own words and you will get the answer okay now this theorem is linked with what we saw yesterday look at it on the circumference that is a tangent and that is also a tangent. TB, okay, is um, the same as TA. Why? Because this uh, tangent goes through 
um, TV. And this Sanjay goes to uh, the point uh, A on the uh, circumference. Okay, so um, if you look at it properly, that is the center. Okay, the OB is a radius length. Another OA is a radius length. As long as both radius are the same, okay, OA and OB, they are going to form 90 degrees at the tangent, okay? So if this length and that length is equal, then TB length will be equal to TA length, okay? This is what we, 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 uh, yesterday we saw that this is 90 degrees. So, O to A will also form an angle 90 degrees. Okay, so we can use that to easily find the angle at T. Okay, if we partition, um, O to T equally. Okay. We've done a lot of circle theorem um, question. Okay, if you know the theorem, immediately you see a question, you know what to do. Okay, so we've done that, but here I'm trying to tell you. So now in this theorem, it says from any point outside the circle to tangent to the circle drawn at equal length so ta the ta will be equal to tb okay as of its length so let's go to what we want to do today okay so we, we are going to find surface area of sphere okay and we are not going to use the volume. We are going to use the surface area. All these formulas, update your flashcard. Use them as much as possible. Okay. Now, the people writing the current exams, um, it, it might be too late for them. But the people who are going to go to year 11 next year, that means next year, it will be good for you. Update your flashcard now. If you've been on the platform for one year and you are in year 10, you should be able to smash your GCSE by now. Okay, because you should understand a lot of things. Okay. So, now, this is the formula you need. The surface area of a sphere, okay, is for pi r square where r is the radius of the sphere so if you are given the surface area and they ask you to find r then you should be able to use this formula because if you are given the surface area you can't use that to find uh you can't use the volume formula okay you can only use the surface area formula because you don't have the volume here. Okay. Now, the radius of the sphere is 2.2. .2. So, surface area will be 4, okay, R squared. So, 2.2 .2 R squared. Now, this is the area, not the volume. When it was a volume, it was the unit cube. Surface area is area, so it will be centimeter squared or whatever units they give you all squared. Okay, so if you do this right, okay, 2.2 .2, your radius, you square it on your calculator, multiply by pi, multiply by 4, or 4 pi on the calculator 
times 2.2 times 2.2. I want to save you from 2.2 squared because um, some calculators, they might end up giving you the wrong answer. So if it's not, you are not sure that your calculator will give you the right answer, just do it as I'm saying to you. And I have just checked before I came back on. I've checked and we checked. This is the right answer. Surface area with radius 2.2 of a sphere is 60.8. Now area, so it's centimeter square to one decimal place. Now our second example okay with the radius is 4.8 meters okay so surface area is 4 pi r squared okay that's why i will encourage you to use the flashcard even if you have 20 of them you can't go wrong okay as long as you arrange them and you use them so this is surface area okay now i've shown you the volume 4 over 3 pi r cube okay now this is the surface area so if you use this several times separate from the volume of a sphere there is no way you can confuse it unless you write them down you don't look at them you don't solve any questions then that is when you are going to go wrong again this platform is tips to uh, pass in your GCSE, okay? Th there are a lot of people out there who don't have a mass GCSE. I can go and uh, show you uh, tips to pass in your A-levels, which is most of the things I'm seeing here. I'll tell you that anyway. But the truth is, if you don't get your GCSE, how are you going to go further and do your A-levels, okay? So we need to deal with the basic stuff first, okay? And I'm showing you and I'm giving you tips, even uh, to the weak students among us, so that uh, you know how to play uh, the, your, your, your learning, and position yourself so that you can score as many points as possible because a lot of people end up getting the why losing one mark here and there that's why the other day instead of writing seven point something uh, cube i wrote a seven so i got a wrong answer okay i could have asked somebody to help me to edit it from there so but i brought it because at times some of these things happen so the further you have the formula and you don't use it right then you you you, you might get the mark instead of getting the three marks or the two marks which can push you up more and i've told you start looking at your uh, marks as if it was a, a transaction okay when it comes to marks be savvy and be frugal and be disciplined to get as much as you want because your c is easy to achieve c and above it's easy to achieve okay let's get on so again surface area is 4 pi r squared so 4 pi r squared okay here r squared is 4.8 so again on your calculator 4 pi okay and then th times 4.8 times 4.8 surface area so they gave us radius in meters our answer will be meters squared 
to one decimal place okay so 289.5 meters okay so don't make it more complicated than you can handle okay relax and just try and make it easy on yourself as you can and i promise you everybody can do that okay when you are learning as i said to you yesterday i'm easily distracted if i put even the news onto the little volume and i'm doing things like that it's trivial but I end up making mistakes here and there so you also try that if it's 30 minutes sit down in silence 30 minutes when you finish do something else and come back to it you don't have to be in silence for two hours 30 minutes is enough for you to learn something a little thing and that's why i think um editing the film into short short the examples into short short videos i'll try and learn that the only thing i'm worried about is i don't want to um spoil the original video okay but i'll see how it goes i'll try it um and see how it goes and then bring that and help you if some people maybe all they can manage is five six ten minutes and then if i edit an example you watch it and then you will solve you but i'll try it okay just give me time i'm still learning okay example surface area again so four pi r squared so four pi r, r here is 14.4 centimeters all squared and we are finding the surface area so since the radius is in centimeters we'll end up getting the unit in centimeters squared okay so on the calculator 4 times pi times 14.4 and then times 14.4 okay and you should get 2605.8 centimeter squared and that is to one decimal place and i said to you if they said the nearest whole number or the nearest centimeter or the nearest unit you should know what to do okay so far we should know we've done significant figures we've done a lot of stuff go back and watch help yourself please don't don't just say, well, it's too much. Um, no, don't do that to yourself. Okay? Even if uh, I haven't uh, edited, I've told you when I'm watching, at times I'm watching and I have to do something else. Okay? Or maybe they say knock on my door and then maybe I don't come back so maybe the following day but anytime i come wherever i stop it stops there it starts from there unless i want to move it back a little move it forward a little okay so try it you can watch five minutes okay that's what times i don't even feel like editing because if i edit it and i don't get the original um film back a youtube decide uh, to clean uh, youtube loses their data then if we've lost everything they have to redo it all over again okay but i need to also keep the videos in case something happened then i can re-upload it okay so that's why i'm a bit but if it is a, a problem to watch a long video or a 30 minutes video watch a little watch an example stop 
baby go and shower go out with your friends have a chat for maybe 20 minutes and come back and rewatch okay these are things they are tips but they are trivial things you can do to help yourself you don't have to stay glued to a book for 24 7 to get an easter okay the people who get easters normally they don't even do that okay now another surface area question here the radius is 8.8 meters so our unit is area so it will be meter square now the formula we need is 4 pi r okay so 4 pi r is 8.8 .8 meters all squared okay so if you do it right okay your answer will be 973.1 meters squared this is also to one decimal place let's look at the couple and we'll stop here so another one 0 0.9 kilometers okay it's important so your surface area will be kilometers all squared the formula you need to find a surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared okay this is different from what we did the volume this is surface area okay of the um, of the whole sphere the outer part okay not the volume no how much can be stuffed in the sphere this is all the area around the sphere okay so you can go and look for a sphere or a little ball the area around okay if you have a ball and you are pumping air into it that is the volume okay so 4 pi r squared so 4 pi 0.9 because your r is 0 0.9 all squared kilometers squared that will be your unit so if you do this right on the calculator again 4 times pi times 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 you get 10.2 kilometer all squared into one decimal place okay now um our one more example for today so the surface area for another sphere 6.5 okay centimeters so our unit for surface area will be centimeter squared okay so again using our formula for today 4 pi r squared okay 4 pi r, r is 6.5 all squared and the unit is in centimeters so it our surface area will be centimeter all squared okay so if you do that again on the calculator you get 530.9 centimeter squared to one decimal place don't just take my answer for it you also use the calculator and make sure that it's right okay because if you use the calculator to get this answer it means one you are practicing the formula and you are practicing the use of your calculator so you won't just go to the exam and because you can't use the calculator, you can arrive at your answer. It will shock you that people in year 11, okay, who don't even have a clue because they've always used their phone calculator, okay. If you are dreamers, I will encourage you to use your, your the normal calculator that will be allowed in the exam. Please subscribe, invite others to subscribe, 
Okay, and if our channel is benefiting you, spread the word, subscribe as well, like, follow, um, share, okay, and um, do whatever you can so you can circulate the platform, okay. Um, follow my no slash script, very important. If there is anything, sorry, no, give us nice comment. I appreciate that love. Okay, it doesn't matter. There is one of uh, uh, our watches who keep on sending me good messages and encouraging messages. Okay, actually, she was the one who said I should do landscape and I had to go and learn it, but the I didn't know what it was okay so in this world we all don't know everything we are learning there's something you know that I don't know and there's I, I know things you also don't know okay so just by leaving me and comment there it encourages me to work harder so that I can bring you more stuff so that you can use that to help you. especially my focus is on those who want the GCSE to get on uh, to do an apprenticeship, do an access course, or maybe use that to go into higher education. That is my focus at the moment. Okay, so um, yeah, I might end up uh, doing a level math in the future but at the moment i want to exhaust this platform with a lot of stuff for the people and make it as simple as possible and as i present it i'll give you some of the tips that can make you lose max and that can make you gain max okay and then please beware of scammers don't uh, loosen up, okay? They are at the head of a story of a woman who actually discounted from her bank. Um, she gave her bank details. She thought it was legit. She gave her bank details. And they, they guess to call her pension out. How sad. How wicked. Somebody is in her uh, old age, and you can do this to a human being. It's, 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 it's all head of, but this is where we are. So you need to protect yourself. If you are not sure, don't do it. And I'm telling you straight up, I'm not asking for donation. So don't let somebody deceive you and say that oh can you donate to this under this platform no we are not doing that okay thank you very much for watching today's video with me and i'll see you in the next